Infinite gold! <laughs> Infinite gold. I crack myself up. Okay, so I got the ability to get gold. Hello everybody and welcome to a new puzzle map, Expand 3 by... Uh... I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Mr. Moose. Uh, I, one of the community members suggested that I do this, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm kind of assuming when I hop off the block, time starts, so I'm, I got everything as set up as I could, and, oh, place the button in your inventory here and press to start the map. Oh, okay. Inventory here. And... So the premise of this map is pretty simple. Uh, we've got multiple puzzles to do in this map, and as we do them, the area that we can move in expands. So let's see what this book has to say. Welcome to the hint book. This hint, this book will give you three hints as well as a walkthrough for the puzzle you are on. Every hint in this book, every hint book has this on the first page, so you don't get the hint right after opening it. Don't be afraid to use the hints, they are here to help. All right, uh, I see a, a pick. I also can't jump. Oh, I see a button there that I can't hit. Is there more to the hint book? Milk bucket? What do you do with a milk bucket? Oh, I can jump! Getting an upgrade. Nice! So then I assume that... I hit the button? No, I'm... I guess I dig. There's a button up there! How do I get the button? Oh, I might dig down! Ooh, a bow. Do not use me as fuel. Unbreakable and a single arrow. Okay, all right. So I'm guessing I aim up. Oh, that's clever. And... Cool, I'm out. Uh... Oh, look at this. I've got three buttons. What they do? Is there an order to the buttons? There must be an order to the buttons. What could the order be? Oh, this is so cool! All right, so there's... I have three buttons that I have access to. Okay, nice. So I see three buttons. Hmm. I, I, that kind of buzzing in the back is annoying me. I don't know about you guys. Well, let's see here. An oxidized block. 3D. This all mean? There's a chest up there I can't reach. Oh, interesting. Anything else in my inventory? Nope, that's it. Alright, hang on. What if I do this? It's clearly not hitting all the buttons super fast. Uh, three... Okay, I can't read that, so that's probably not playing into the, into the solution. Let's see here. Alright, so it's not hitting all the buttons at the same time. Nothing 
super hidden. Let's see. All right, I used it one more time. Oh, there are things that could be useful even if I can't reach them. Things outside of the border that could be useful even if I can't reach them. Well, that did something, but what did it do? Another pressure plate? Hmm. Oh. Bell. Is there any push buttons that I can hit? Nope, I'm pretty much limited to the push buttons here. Hmm. It sounds like it's opening something, but I can't tell what. So there's things outside the map that are useful, even if I can't see them. Let me think here. I feel like because I have access to so little, that's what makes this, like, first couple puzzles actually kind of difficult. Alright, let's see what it says. There's some colored blocks in the walls of the area that correspond to the blocks in the 3x3 area you have available to you. Okay, I see that. Could that be... Oh, right. I see that right there. Yes, I do definitely acknowledge that there are some colored blocks. What does that have to do with anything? I definitely see the colored blocks. Such as this one. if I have to shoot that. Can I even shoot through this? I think I can. Oh, maybe I can't. Hmm, this is a tough one, actually. Break one of the two end stones at your eye level, jump up, and press the buttons in this order. Magenta, purple. Magenta, purple, magenta, purple, purple. Now, how would I have determined that? Oh, magenta, purple, magenta, purple, purple. Oh! This must be like the reset button. Magenta, purple, magenta, purple, purple? Hey, I'm out another layer. Okay, so... Alright. The first couple puzzles are trial runs for me trying to figure out how this map maker thinks. That's what I'm going to use the excuses. Ooh, what's this? A chest with an eye of ender and an axe. Well, here's a piece of wood. Oh! Hello. I have Ender. Ooh, wait. I have a theory. I have a theory. Hold on. So you, Mr. I have Ender. You s just chill there for a second. I'll be back for you in a moment. Now what if... Aha! A push button to hit. Wait, what was that? It made a whole bunch of sounds. Let's hear that again. So this thing made the noise. 
then the Enderman made the noise, then the... I succeeded! I did it! Cool. I got a piece of raw gold. Am I rich? Infinite gold! <laughs> Infinite gold. I crack myself up. Okay, so I got the ability to get gold. And there's a recipe here. What do I do with gold? I've, I've got a bunch. I've got gold here. Now, why would I need gold? No, I can't throw it outside of the map, but that's okay. I have gold. Where would the next portion of the puzzle be? Is that so? That's the spike doesn't look like there's anything here. The only thing that seems to have revealed itself is that now I can get a raw gold. I wonder why that's red and green. Okay. What's that? Moves time forward? Up there before? A watch. I have an eye of ender. I have a watch. And I still have an axe. Why do I still have an axe? Is there something else that needs to get cut? Another piece of wood somewhere, perhaps. Doesn't look like there's anything down here that needs to be axed. I think I'm good there. Okay, let's hint book here. There's a skulker box. Okay, I just found that. There's another block you are now able to reach on the floating island. Oh, what's this? It's a piece of gold. It's a smelter. A time controller. Oh, what's this? Well, I don't like the look of that. Ooh, what's that? And there's all kinds of things I don't like the look of. A gold input. Wait a second, hang on. I wanna try something here. Oh, so the, go so the button that gives gold. I'm able to, okay. Whoa. Where did I end up? Some cobblestone. It's very odd. Oh! Shoot. Wasn't quite done down there yet. Check walls and use your bow. Ooh, a button. Nope. Ooh, a button! Ooh, a button. Nope. Ooh, a button. Nope. Ooh, a button. Nope. <clears throat> I wonder if I need any more gold. No, why don't I, uh... 
Grab another smattering of gold. You never know if you need more gold. Nope, oh, come on. I've got a really good feeling about this puzzle. I, I feel like I'm right on the verge of something. Oh, maybe that's all the gold inputting that needs to happen. Oh, well. Check the walls and use your bow. Okay, so I hit... Anything on this wall? All in all, you'll just a... Another... Button in the wall? So that didn't do it either. Well, I did hit a button that disappeared. The button right here. So that's a good sign, right? I did what I was supposed to? Just hit everything one more time. No, 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 no. No button there. No button there. No button there. Nope, nope, nope. Button here. Button here. There's bush hidden in island? Ooh, what's that, a button down there? Maybe I'm not supposed to hit that button. Okay. It was looking real good. Until it wasn't. I wonder if... Nope. Supposed to hit that button. Wasn't that button neither. <laughs> I figured I would try. So I think I hit all the buttons I needed to here. Is there a piece of wood somewhere that I need to... to dig out? This all looks like uh, end stone. I think that's what it's called. Ow, my kneecaps. Carol's cockle box. Enter slot, then walk over to the red glass. Find an item inside the barrel, and then. Skulker box somewhere. Another skulker box somewhere? This is a really hard puzzle map. Okay, I've got an eye vendor and I've got a bowl now. Get it. And your bow, drop off the island with the warped fungus on it, and mine the warped stems? What? Are these? Okay, so now I've got... I don't get it. What am I supposed to be making here? I really don't get it. What am I doing? I've got all these materials. Am I supposed to be crafting something? I 
on the sandstone, six. And the crafting table only be put a certain place. Must be that way. say that though must be placed on cut sandstone so there's a piece of cut sandstone somewhere that i'm able to put this crafting bench what does cut sandstone look like it looks like that so i make a furnace dope and that must be put on a block of amethyst which they're saying is on the ship so I guess I have to look in my inventory, too, at times to figure out things to craft. So in here, I smelt the gold. I'm not ready to smelt the gold. Oh, I burned the bowl to smelt the gold. Then the gold I put in. So the whole point of that. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out how this map maker thinks. Cool, what I do? So I gained access to a ore area. So let's get on let's get a bird's eye view here. Did I gain access to anything blatantly new? Okay, so go here. I don't see anything blatantly new that I've that I've gained access to. Actually, this is new. This is a oxidized block. Oxidized block of what? Is this like an unoxidized block? I'm trying to use big words to make me sound smart. I hope it's working. Hmm. I don't see a necessarily blatantly obvious puzzle that's owned up, that's opened up to me. Ah. Interesting. Well, I think this is as good of any spot to uh, uh, to end this uh, end this episode. Uh, this is definitely a a neat map, and I'm. I think I'm having fun. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm having fun. I have to let you know on that one. But, uh, yeah, when we come back next time, hopefully I'll know what the next... Oh, wait, maybe it's down here. Nope, I really haven't gained much in that area. Huh. All right, well, I will... Uh, well, we'll come back next time and hopefully we'll advance a little bit more. But until then, guys, be seeing ya.